Hello, let's play some Wingspan. We'll do a two player this time. What do we got? Song Sparrow, I like that. Let's check out the tree. Eggs in the grass, eggs in the cavity nest. Birds in the forest. Ruddy Duck is really good at drawing cards in the beginning. Take a worm and a wheat to cover our two cards. I like the Cassin Sparrow, but a little too much on food right now. It's our bonus card. Well, we're keeping Ruddy Duck, so let's go with Photographer. And we'll grab a cherry. Not a horrible start. Good egg capacity. Generate some card advantage. We can leverage the Song Sparrow's power to help boost our actions. I was debating what food to use. Throw it on the cherry for the Song Sparrow. Then I'll lay eggs on the Sparrow and move it into the wetlands. Then we'll be drawing four cards, discarding one. Oh, we got the Raven. I think I'll take it now. Just to prevent the AI from getting it. Don't like the Roadrunner. So we need a rat and one other to get the Raven down. Looks like we got our rat. So now, do I want to... No, nope. AI took the rat. So get a worm, play the warbler, then migrate the song sparrow up, and we'll be in a position to draw two food from the bird feeder. And from there, we can get the food we need for the raven. I can't re-roll the bird feeder. Drop the warbler. I don't like either one of those. Well, we'll go with the egg route, since we're going to be laying a bunch of eggs with our raven on the board. Sure. 
Don't mind that. All right, we'll lay. Two eggs on the sparrow. We'll move it to the forest. And then we'll force a reroll and hopefully get our rat. Well, the AI has done us a favor there, it looks like. Let's take the reroll. Rat, and we'll take Jerry. Uh, we'll keep him there. It's an example of how the Song Sparrow can be useful fairly early on. We've now, we've doubled the amount of food dice we're able to gain just by having him migrate up and we didn't have to pay the one egg to get him into that slot. All right, same cards in the tray. We'll get more food. I'll take a worm and a wheat. Keep the sparrow there. Now I could have, I didn't think about this in the moment, I have a bad habit of losing track of how many activations are left in the, left in the round, but I could have moved the Song Sparrow down How many eggs did he actually have in the grassland? He had one. So I could have taken that from him and got those four points. Um, I'm not necessarily prepared to lock the sparrow in with the raven, that is putting the sparrow in the left slot and putting the raven in the right slot. That means that the sparrow wouldn't be able to migrate anymore, but could have just taken the lay egg action and moved it back up to the forest. But that was probably the better play in retrospect. All right, we'll drop our raven. So I want to move the sparrow back into the grassland to cover this spot. So we'll be drawing three eggs, and then we don't have to worry about food anymore with our raven on the table. Uh, we'll take the raven. So not moving the sparrow back for the round bonus. We're a turn ahead on our plan, but we're four points behind, essentially. Not sure that's gonna be a big difference. have a predatory power? He does. Magpie has a star nest. We'll go with it. And 
am I ready to lose the sparrow? Yeah, at this point I think I am. That does kind of hose me for the fourth round bonus, but I'm not terribly concerned with that right now. All right. Fill up the magpie. And what are we gonna do? We'll probably play the swallow in the wetlands, draw into some more cards, and then go from there. for eggs. Our magpie is paying off. More worms. All right, let's draw some cards. All right, so we can combo out these two. Get another bonus card. We're putting down two more birds for the fourth round. And it gives us more targets for our bonus card. The woodpecker qualifies for photographer. Gets us within one of the top end. I'm gonna skip this power. Draw two. I think I'm gonna ditch will it. We'll run our eggs again to get a cherry off the raven. on the appropriate birds for the round bonus. And I'm gonna have to take one off there anyway. A cherry and a worm. Nothing in the tray I care about. Two eggs, we got that. Make sure we use the right food. Picking up three points off backyard birder. Not a bad play. So we got two, six, plus three is nine, minus two for the eggs, so that was a seven point activation. Time to lay eggs. I don't think I necessarily care about playing any more birds at this point. 
unless I happen to draw into something or see something powerful. We've got a lot of eggs to fill up here. So I'm gonna get rid of this worm. We don't have to care about specific egg locations at this point. Oh, I would like to fill up this slot though, get that extra egg. Brown's cowbird. Brown-headed cowbird qualifies for backyard birder. Doesn't have a nest, so I can't lay eggs on it. And it does qualify, it would get us to the six point tier so does not hatch we've got eight activations left in the game three times eight is 24 eggs Get there before the end of the game. It's probably better to do this. Actually, we might be served better by the red-tailed hawk. Stick it in our grasslands and hopefully 75 is on the bottom end of the effectiveness scale. Tough call. For two food I could get five points out. It'll cost me two eggs there, two eggs there. So I'll be net one point. And then gain three here, so four points. Way off from that. I'm gonna get that no matter what. So I'll be, I'll play this, I'll be net three points and then if I hit anything that qualifies, I'll be tucking. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, red tail hawk. We'll pick up the two rats off the raven. Overthinking. All right. What do 
wouldn't hurt to get that hermit thrush down either. I don't think we're gonna have the activations for that. Actually, eh, we'll see how it goes. It's probably gonna be worth more points. Sure that we get at least one egg on all of our birds. We've maxed that out. I just hate it when I'm trying to read something and all this stuff keeps popping up. So we've secured our round bonus. from that. Not worth it to play these at this point. It's not going to be worth enough points. Alright, let's run our eggs. Bummer. Alright. two cherries. We'll drop the thrush. We get four, maybe five points off activating our grassland. This will be net five points. So we have enough to cover this bonus card. I can never pronounce this. Woologist. Well, maybe I could have saved that egg. Still got plenty of egg room. three on the red tail. Two activations left. Way ahead on the round bonus. points, possibly five if the hawk hits. It'll be a guaranteed five net if I play the thrush. Oh, 
I screwed myself on my bonus card. Well, we won the game. Yeah. Screwed myself out of three points there. Wasn't paying attention. I should have left one egg on the hawk. So, got close to 90. What did he have going on? Nothing too impressive. He's just playing big birds and laying eggs. Yeah, I've made a couple mistakes, going a little too fast. But, uh, yeah. That'll do.